opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 pawn. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Dxc4 opens up the center and captures the c4 pawn. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. That was a free pawn. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.